the first hardcore show that I remember seeing was, uh, it wasn't even really a hardcore show. It was White Zombie, Leeway, Suicidal Tendencies at Lemoore in 1990. And I was 15 and I went to see Suicidal. Leeway came on. I, was, I had never even heard of them, never heard a note. Eddie came on. They opened up with Rise and Fall. The place went fucking bananas. And right there was, there was never any turning back. Right there turned me right into a hardcore kid. So that's the one that stands out in my head. L&B Spumoni Gardens, Brooklyn, all day. I don't know why I wasn't there. Maybe I was too young or I just didn't hear about it, but I see flyers all over the place on the anniversary. I wish that I was at negative night at Lemoore. Toxemia, Biohazard, Sheer Terror, Carnivore. I see that flyer all the time and every time I look at it, I kick myself in the ass. I don't know why I wasn't there. It still pisses me off. Was it Carnivore or was it Typo Negative? Carnivore. Was it Typo Negative? Carnivore. First thing that pops in my head is of course CBGB's. Um, that was like everybody's home on Sundays. I miss Lemoore also, but as far as not really hardcore shows are concerned, I, I miss Sunday rock and roll charts at the fucking limelight. I miss Sunday nights at the limelight back in the early 90s, big time. Armand, hands down. Mackey. And I'm gonna have to say, I don't know if anyone said this yet, Nick Jett from Terra, ridiculous. What sticks out in my head, December 23rd, 1992, CBGB, Agnostic Front, final show, when they, right before they went on that hiatus where they recorded the last warning record. Done deal out of Philly. Uh, ridiculous band, only been a band for about six months. Um, they got two releases out already, only played two shows, no nonsense. Proper hardcore punk rock out of Philadelphia. Not really too new, but I gotta put over Silence Equals Death from Jersey. Great band, great bunch of guys, um, play constantly. Um, I gotta give it up also, not, not a brand new band, been around for a couple of years, but also from Jersey, Full Scale Riot. Stop with the drinking and the drugs. It's fucking corny. You ain't cool. No one's impressed. Um, keep your circle small. Know who you surround yourself with. And respect your mother. Um, Unless your mother's a legitimate piece of shit. Just because she tells you something that you might not want to hear or agree with doesn't mean that you should be an asshole to her. Respect your mother because one day she's not going to be here. You can have a hundred fathers, but you only have one mother. So respect your mother. The first year that I did the veterans benefit for the, for the Purple Heart Foundation, um, there was 14 bands on there. Murphy's Law headlined that. It was jam-packed from like two o'clock in the afternoon until I left and I left at like one o'clock in the morning. Um, amazing, amazing night. Um, made a lot of money and gave every single dime to the Purple Hall Foundation. That's the first one that pops in my head, but most of them have been really good, man. Like, like I don't think there's been a dud yet, so. Who knows? The Shining, The Exorcist, and probably the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Toby Hooper. Toby Hooper. Wow. Um, but aren't you a, a Friday the 13th fanatic? Huge. But they're terrible. Like, The Shining is an amazing movie. The Exorcist is an amazing movie. The Texas Chainsaw Mask is not an amazing movie, it's just shot all crazy. 
Friday the thirteenth at the end of the day they're stupid. <laughs> but I'm a Jason Mark. So I'm all about them all day long. Plus I grew up watching that nonsense. So yeah, so if I was to pick like my guy, Jason over everybody.